Good evening. How are you? Hello, Olympia. Hello, Frank. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, fine. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Fine. Hello, Hi. Carla. How are you? Fine. Good. How was your day, Carla? My day was very boring. Why? Because I always stay in my house. Oh, are you doing, are you working from home? No, teacher, uh, no. Okay. So what do you do in your house? Watch TV, check your cell phone? Uh, uh, read, read in PDF. PDF. 
Yeah, PDF. No, okay. And the afternoon I go to the gym. Good, good, good. Nice. Yes. How many hours do you spend in the gym? Um, maybe two hours. Two hours. Yes. Two hours are good. Yeah. Nice. Do you go every day or every other day? Every other. Every day. Every day. Okay. Yes. Good. Nice. All right. Welcome back, people. What's today's date? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. 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 Today is Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. 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 Yes. Okay. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday what? 17. 17th. 17th. What year? 2021. 2021. That is correct. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Conditional. What conditional? I think it's the first. Is it zero? Or the zero. Zero, one, two, or three? Zero. Are you sure? There are four conditionals. Zero, first, second, and third. Zero conditional is something that is always true. What happens if you save money? I will buy my house. What is it? I will buy my house. Okay, that is the first conditional. If you save money, you will buy your house. Something that you do now with a result in the future. The zero conditional, it's something that is always true. How do you say regar las plantas? Water, water the flowers. Water the plants, water the flowers, the roses, the cactus, whatever. What happens when you water the plants? What happens to them? What's the result? They are beautiful. They are beautiful. They are beautiful all the time or sometimes? Sometimes. 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 Are you sure? If you water the plants, what's the natural reaction? Uh, they are beautiful. They grow. Yes, yes. Yes. So it's all the time, not only sometimes, all the time. Uh, depending. Okay. What happens if you go to the gym? <laughs> What happens no. if you go to the gym? What happens to your muscles? Grow. They grow. They grow so up. If you go to the grow. gym, your muscles grow. That's true. Isn't it? Isn't that true? Yes. 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 What happens if you eat healthy? If you eat healthy, your body is in good health. So listen to this. The zero conditional is something that is always true. Example, if I use my glasses, I see better. Is that true? Yes. That's a zero conditional. If you use your glasses, you see better. If you save money, you will buy your house. If you save money, you will travel. If you save money, you will sleep better. That is the first conditional. Something that you do now with a result in the future. Do you see the differences? Yes, teacher. Yesterday I used the second conditional. Exactly. Real situations. Exactly. I remember. Exactly. Yes. Yesterday, we were using the second conditional. Si usted ahorrara dinero, si usted tuviera hijos, si usted viviera en San Miguel, si usted viviera en San Salvador, si usted no tuviera que trabajar los domingos, that is the second conditional or unreal conditional. 
And the third conditional, that's a little bit more difficult. Yes. You said, yo me hubiera quedado si hubiese sabido. Yo me hubiera quedado ahí single. Huh? I would have stayed. Uh-huh. I would have stayed if I had known. Yo lo hubiera comprado si hubiera estado en especial, si hubiera estado en oferta. That is the third conditional. But yes. right now, we will concentrate with the first and second conditional. Listen to this. The first conditional makes reference to something that you do now with a, with a result in the future. If you have children now, you will have to work harder. If you work this Saturday, you will be free three days. Something that you do now with a result in the future. That is the first conditional. Something that you do now with a result in the future. Any questions? No, teacher. Do you meditate about your life? I do. Yes. You need to meditate about the things you do about the things you don't do. So I start thinking, if I go walking, I will lose weight. But it's only thinking, I don't do it. You know, if I read more, I will have more knowledge. That is the first condition. Got it? Is it clear, people? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Let me show you this. Hmm. Give me a second. Did you guys eat dinner already? <clears throat> no, I didn't. No. Not yet. Yes, I did. Okay, good. All right. So look at the first example. If you eat less junk food, what's the meaning of junk food? Comida chatar. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen if you eat less junk food? You may lose weight. You may lose weight. Another possibility. You might feel hurt, healthier. Yes. Another possibility. You stay in shape without joining our gym. Uh, maybe. That's a possibility. You will stay in shape without going without joining a gym. That's a possibility. So let's say the first three would be possible. If you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. You might feel healthier. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Any questions there? Questions? No. no. Okay, no, what about the second one? If you walk to work every day, you will stay in shape without you go. You how do you say joining? Joining. Yeah. Yes, it is easier. You think you might feel healthier if you work? Uh, if you walk to work every day. Yes. Yes. Sure. yes. You know, after you go walk in half hour, forty five minutes, when you finish, you go back to your house, you take a shower, and, and your body feels the difference. So you feel healthier. Yeah, that's what true. I'm, it is true. Number three, if you don't get enough sleep. You won't, you won't be, be able, able to, to stay awake, awake in class. You won't be able to stay awake in class. How do you say cabecear? I don't know. I don't know. You will be nodding. Nodding. 
Nodding. Why are you nodding? How do you say me desvelé in English? Awake, no. Me desvelé. How do you say quedarse in English? Stay. Stay. Uh, stay. How do you I say desvelarse? I wait. I wait. Stay away. Stay, stay up. up. Stay up. Stay up. up. Yeah. Desvelarse, me desvelé. I wake up. I stayed up. I stay up. Yep. Remember, the preposition that you use with a verb changes the meaning of the verb. Example, stay up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do number four. If you exercise, what's going to happen if you exercise? You may lose weight. Uh -huh. What else? You might feel healthier. You might feel healthier, yes. What else? Mm. All it is. Okay, if you exercise, do you stay healthy or not? Yes. So if you stay healthy, you don't have to worry about spending money with a doctor or with medicine. So you'll have more money to spend on yourself. Hey. And the last one, not the last one, number five. If you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. Right. <laughs> You'll have more money to spend on yourself. Anything else? You might feel healthy. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> you might feel healthier. Yes. Yeah, and that was the last one. Any questions about these sentences with the first conditional? Remember, the first conditional, we're making reference to something that you do now with a result in the future. Questions? Mm. Questions? No, comments? Now, let me ask. No, teacher. What is the difference between the first and the second conditional? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is the second conditional the 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 second part of the <laughs> The um, sentence is in past. Okay. The if clause is in past. How do you say si yo fuera al gimnasio? If I went to the gym. If I went to the gym. How do you say si yo fuera usted? If I were you. If I were you. If I were you. How do you say si yo no tuviera dinero? Uh -huh. if, I had, if I had money, no. Mm -mm. What's if, if I didn't, didn't have, have money. money. If, if I, I didn't have money. If I didn't have. If I didn't have money. How do you say si yo no tuviera hijos? If I didn't have children. Uh -huh. The message is, I have children. Si yo manejara todos los días, how do you say that? If I if drove I, every, day. every day. If I drove every day. If I drove every day. If I drove every day. So the sentence, the if clause, is always with the simple past form. How do you say rasurarse in English? Save. 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 How do you say, si yo no me rasurara todos los días? If I didn't shave every day. If I didn't shave every day, I would look older. I would feel strange. So that means that I shave every day. Questions or comments? Okay, so if you don't have any questions or comments, I'm going to assign you to working group in pairs, actually, 
and you will ask and answer uh, the questions that I have for today. Let me see this here. Let me show you this. Uh, do you see the cartoon? Did I show you this cartoon yesterday? Yes. Uh. Did I? Which one? Can you see the cartoon? No. Okay, let me see this. No. Here. What about now? Yes. yes teacher. Did you see yes. that one yesterday? No. 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 Okay. No. I wouldn't go out if I were you. How do you say that one in Spanish? Yo no saliera si fuera tú. Yo no me fuera si fuera Yo no saldría. Yo no saldría. Si yo fuese usted. If I were you. Si yo fuese. As you analyze this example here, fuese is in past form. Were, not where, were. I wouldn't go out if I were you. Is, is, is the, the cartoon clear? Is the cartoon clear? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. So let me show you this. Share screen. This here. Yes, yo no saldría si fuera tú. Good. So, I'm going to show you these questions. Do you see the questions there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Can somebody take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp chat? Sure. Please. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Let me create the groups. Create rooms. Add a room. Open room. And here we go. Remember, don't speak Spanish. Remember, you need to work on your platform. Sure. Yes, Joseph. Can you can you give me the invitation again, please? Okay, right now. Go to room five. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Ana Palma, can you hear me?
<laughs> it, this is a funny situation. <laughs> I guess the number changed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, teachers. Sorry, Hello, we are I'm late. You. Don't worry. Don't I'm worry. late too, teacher. <laughs> Jenny and Elena, they are late. Laura was yes. on time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now we're going to discuss uh, a few questions related with the second conditional. Laura, you were here yesterday, right? Yes. Jenny, were you here yesterday? Yes, teacher. Okay. So you two explain, Elena, how to use the second conditional, please. Perfect. Uh, all okay. right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Is uh, religion religious? Uh, but uh, okay, nice. Okay, number four, Linda. Number three, number three. If oh, you sorry, could sorry, speak sorry, three sorry. other languages, uh, what will they be? Stay in chat. Okay. <laughs> yes. If you told me all your secrets, will I be shocked? And it's a no. question in the in the yeah. in the answer of this question is in the in the future. No, it's 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 hypothetical. So you say. No. Si me dijeras tus secretos, estaría yo en shock. It's 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 not real. It's it's um it's not true. Like a possibility. Yeah, like a possibility, mm. exactly. Yes, but the uh, but the answer, the, the example of the answer is yes, yes you, you would, will. Or no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Okay, uh -huh. okay, exactly. I, okay, I understand. Okay, good, very good. It's not shared to the say of the question, but because no one shared the old secret. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Cool. If I see, I would like to live in Canada or United States. Okay, Antonio, I hear you a little bit, but I understand you. <laughs> okay, if a naturalist sister hit you down, what will you do? Okay, sorry because uh, don't worry, don't worry, Antonio. We what? understand you, but it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, to catch the idea. <laughs> right, yes. you you sound choppy. Yes, hit your down, hit your tongue. What is that T-shirt? Which one? And uh, if you, a natural disaster hit the town, uh -huh. yeah. what would you do? 
Es ya. como golpear, ¿no? Ya. Si un desastre ah. natural golpearía su pueblo, su ciudad, ¿qué haría usted? Ah, ok. Thank you. Ajá. Well, if a disaster hit... Ok. Um, if a nature disaster hit your town, what would you do? Cry and cry. Only cry. <laughs> <laughs> and run. Run very fast. <laughs> yeah. my, my mother told me that when the, the volcano... Mm -hmm. Eruption. Eruption. Eruption, the people are was scared. Yeah, which really? eruption? Uh, what? What what volcano? What eruption? Uh, the Isalco volcano. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Volcán de Isalco is beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Nice volcano. Mm. And for you? Maybe in my case, I. How how do you say I do that? I helped. Yeah, oh. I'll help. I so I I really like to live with my family, but uh, far far place. Park Play. Okay. Lugar lejano. Ay, okay. 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 I I live uh, the world is with my family um in France or or um the from the far is beautiful <laughs> and the islam uh, finlandian highland 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 is highland isla ah okay highland yes okay highland isla okay Hello, hello. Hello, Glenda. Hello, Anna. Hello, teacher. Is Glenda here? In uh, one minute, is here, but she left. She doesn't hear me. Okay. All right. How is your family, Anna? My family. Mm -hmm. It's, they are okay. Do you have children? No, I don't have. Okay. Who lives with you? 
I live in Astoria, La Paz. Astoria, Astoria, it sounds uh, familiar. Astoria, what part of La Paz is that? Oh, is that Carretera Comalapa, Autopista Comalapa? Yes, right, near the, near the airport. Yes, yes, I think I have seen it there. Yeah. And where do you work? At the airport. Oh, you work at the airport? Yes. What do you do at the airport? Well, I... I... Impartir. Impartir charlas. Impartir charlas. Uh -huh, imparto charlas. I give... To, Speech. I, I give speeches. I give speeches uh, to the security. Oh, okay. In a, in a oh, okay. And do you go to the airport every day? Yes, yes, I, I have. Okay. Well, every day. Good, good, good. How many years have you been at the airport? I I had 20 years. 20 years is a long time. No, 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 sorry, sorry, 12, 12. 12 years. Sorry. Well, 12 sorry. years still yes. a good number. Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, I, I think your partner left. Let me see if I can move you somewhere else. Ana Palma. I will send you to room one. Okay. Okay, in my case, uh first of all or i call my family um i will go where they are for my husband for my my daughters is the first is the family together yeah for me. yeah right. that's true for that me is the too. human instinct family first yeah yes True. And the first is a, a, a phone call. I, every, everyone is okay. <laughs> in my case, I, I stay in, in, homework, in, in, the, in the work and the others in the homework. Exactly. But, but when the, the, the is a headquarter and my daughter is in the school, I call at the school. <laughs> it's okay, everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then I call my husband. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So first your children and then your husband. Yes. Yeah. No, that's what I tell my wife. You know, our children always have to be first. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm second, she's second, but the children are always first. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. The next question, if you became a rock star, mm -hmm. what kind of song would you sing and what image would you have? <gasps> a rock star. I remember for a TV show for this question. <laughs> I don't know is TV you saw show? The, the, the TV show is a, a cartoon. Do you remember Jim? Um, the holograms? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, no. Search on Google, please. Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, le I like very much that cartoon and the rock star, I think, in this cartoon. <laughs> okay. Good. okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. I will ask. I will ask. Ask you the. The I don't know the physical. I, I don't. The. Um, 
you can ask him the question about Rockstar. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> If you became a rock star, what kind of songs would you sing and what image image would you have? Okay, if I became a rock star, I would like to write songs about love and about life. And my style, it could be like a glam rock. Have you ever listened to that kind of rock? No. I can. Okay, a glam rock is a it's a very softly rock. It's not too much hard, and I really like that kind of gender. Okay. Hey, and, okay. General. 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 Yeah, gender is when you're talking about boys and girls. Ah, okay. When you're talking about music or movies, you say genre. G E N R E. Genre. 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 Exactly. Yeah, genre. Exactly. Genre. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure.
Welcome back. Do you have any questions about the exercise uh, you guys were doing? No. No, no teacher. Okay. No good. teacher. All right, so let's practice some reading. Let me ask you, what are the benefits you get from reading? The pronunciation. Pronunciation. Intonation. Yes. What else? Vocabulary. Vocabulary. Uh -huh. Fluency, accuracy, vocabulary. What else? What else, people? Only four people answered. What about the others? Do you think reading has benefits? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Do you yes, think you... A... Uh -huh. Go ahead, Antonio. Yes, have a good benefit because we can learn a new vocabulary and we can improve our, our fluency. Right. Do you think you can improve your punctuation by reading? Yes, and uh, yes. I, don't, I don't know what to say, orthographia. <laughs> Spelling. Yes. Remember, how many skills, how many macro skills are there in English? There are five. five. Reading, listening, uh, writing, reading, and spelling. Okay, macro skills, macro skills. Ah, uh, macro, there are there, four. There are four. What are the names of the four? Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Do you think you can improve your grammar by reading? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes because yes. with the reading, we, we distinguish the... Uh, the structure of the things. Exactly, exactly. So you you are familiar with the 12 tenses, the eight parts of speech, past models, models. So reading is a real, real um, good way of improving the language. Okay, so any other comments or questions about reading? Anybody? No? Okay, let me show you. No. This. Okay. I had a teacher that he used to say, Su silencio es ensordecedor. Have you ever? Yeah. <laughs> so you're asking a question? I, I, I am here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So, you know, you're asking a question and you don't answer. You're like, my goodness, what's wrong? <laughs> All right, where is this reading? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, you're going to find this reading in the platform. Now, now that I mentioned the platform, uh, are you near completing the, the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes I completed. I yes, I completed, teacher. Good, very good. I am the unit five, teacher. I hope finish today. Good, very good, very good. Okay, the name of the article is "Are You in Love?" <laughs> uh huh. So it goes like this: What's the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Who can answer that question? Uh huh. Yeah. What is a crush? Well, a crush yeah. is something that makes you crazy. So I imagine that having a crush is maybe something that you like, but maybe you are not having a relationship with them or with okay. her or with him. Okay. And falling in love. Uh, is when you are having a relationship with someone. Okay, good. Another opinion, someone else? 
So like, like, uh, like he was saying, having a crush is a strong feeling. You think you're in love, but you're not. Or you're always thinking about that person. Do you remember? It's, you it's remember? like a, a, a amor platonico. Uh, yeah, it could be. Do you remember orange crush? The soda? Yes. Yes. Yeah, orange crush. So you're crazy about oranges, apparently, you know. And falling in love is when you start having feelings towards the person. Okay. So volunteer to read the first paragraph, please. You think. Uh huh. Me, teacher. Go ahead. You're... Go ahead. You think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person, but it had happened before, and it was just a crush. How can you feel if it's real this time? Here's what our readers said. Excellent. Good. How do you say those puntos in English? Two points. Uh huh. What is what is the name of the money that we used to have in El Salvador? Dollar. Before, before. Colon. 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 Okay. Oh. So. Okay, another volunteer. If you're falling in love, me. Go ahead. If you're falling in love, you will you'll find yourself talking to talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> you're talking to the person or you're calling the person apparently because there is a reason but you just want to speak with this person. It's normal. Mm -hmm. So if you're falling in love, that, that is one of the symptoms. Very good. Any questions about that paragraph? <laughs> no? Not teacher. Okay. Not teacher. Not teacher. Oh, all right. Next paragraph, someone can read it, please. Me, teacher. Uh, Go ahead, Jenny. You find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, I framed, begin. You inter interpret with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Exactly, all right. Has that ever happened to you when you're talking it's common that you mention this person? Yeah. <laughs> it's normal. It's normal. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Now, I know that some of you guys are not answering my questions because maybe your husband or your wife is near you, but we understand. <laughs> don't worry. You don't need to say anything. Just listen. <laughs> So you can, send me a, you can send me a WhatsApp later. Francisco, I my husband was near me. My wife was near me. Yes. I pass every stay with my husband in the past. I I, I read the, the in the next paragraph. Okay. In the, uh, the finish of the reading. <laughs> okay. All right. Another volunteer to read the next paragraph. You might suddenly. Uh-huh. Uh, May teacher. Go ahead, please. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. <laughs> right, right. So let's say you don't like chocolate, but the person you're in love with he or she loves chocolate. So suddenly you're talking good things about chocolate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is, that is that love. Is love. <laughs> yeah, that is love. Okay, so someone else, please read the next paragraph. Okay, so you've fallen in love. Me, uh -huh. teacher. Go ahead. Okay, so you fall in love, but falling in love is one thing. And staying in love is another. 
Uh huh. How okay. can you tell? Okay. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. Thank you. Any questions there? So falling in love is easy. Staying in love, that's the, the hard part. Yeah. You have to water the plant every day, every day. Okay, now we go with the next paragraph. You might not talk. Someone else? Uh -huh. Someone who hasn't read, please. Only one. Okay. Then, uh huh. Go ahead. You might. My, go ahead. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often. But the person will never, never let this become more and more important in your life. Excellent. Very good. So remember some of the traditions that you used to have at the beginning, maybe you start losing them. But this person, your husband or your wife, he or she will become more important to you. Any questions yeah. or comments about this last paragraph? A question, teacher. Yeah. Uh, but this person will never the least. Uh, this, this is pronunciation and the meaning is? Nevertheless, nevertheless, sin embargo. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right. And now we go with the last paragraph. Elena, you Yeah. <laughs> You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Yes, exactly. Falling in love is great, but staying in love is even better. Yes. There is a famous song in Spanish, La Costumbre es más fuerte que el amor. You know, I don't know about that, but some people say that it's true. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about this topic that we just finished reading? No, no, no. no. here. Okay. No, think... All right. So remember, we finish next Thursday. Try to be present uh, every day, and please try to finish uh, minimum eighty percent of the exercises that there, that we have in the platform. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank good you. night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. See you later.